Don't step me on that because I know it ain't true. <laughs> so that's, that's why you're here, here right? Yeah. 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 So, a, so A, B, and C stack up to show that what I believe about myself in my world, which is what I put in D in some way, is is the fact. I mean, that that's the way it really is. Yeah. You know, look, see? Wouldn't I mean, wouldn't you agree with me? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, that this just proves that, mm-hmm. you know, there's a control problem here. And whatever I believe, I I am obligated to prove that it's right. And so that's why we have to get back to the beliefs, because otherwise I am going to go around proving that I'm right about what I believe. And if I'm not clear on what I believe, a lot of the times I'm going to go, I don't like what I'm seeing. You know, so that's why it's important to get back to the belief, because the mind has to prove that what I believe is, in fact, the case. I question that. Um, and maybe I'm maybe I'm taking it out of context and dealing with a different part of it. But in with me, I don't care what you believe or how you bake your pie or how you clean your house or deal mm-hmm. with your kids. Mm-hmm. That's your affair. Mm-hmm. I do mine differently, and I don't impose that belief in how it should be done on you. But that's now, the part we're talking about. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. we're talking about the part where you believe what you believe. We're not saying that that, that she has to be right about right. what she believes. And, and but I have to in my mind I have to know that I'm right about what I believe. Otherwise I won't believe it. So it's not about proving it to anyone else. No, I it's just it's myself. only I'm only proving it to myself mm-hmm. because otherwise mm-hmm. if the mind thinks if what I believe isn't true why then would it believe this it? is chaotic. Why would it believe it? Yeah, it wasn't I mean, true. Right. So I want to prove that what I believe is true. I want to be right about my beliefs. Mm-hmm. I want to be right that what I believe is believable. Mm-hmm. You want to be right that people like Nancy shouldn't be the way they are. Oh, no, I disagree. But what are you getting angry with? I don't know yet. <laughs> we haven't hit the bottom of the sheet. <laughs> no, I mean, the world is full of Nancy's. She's got sisters all over this place. That's a fact. What you want to be right about is the fact that there are times when you are out of control. That's, the That's what you want to be right about. That's your belief. Your belief is that this is, this is an instance where you are out of control. Well, that's not my belief. That that is a fact. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to go back. Let's go back to 4-1 now to okay. the last sentence. Four, the last sentence on the paragraph, on the paragraph right. where it says, "Use of this instrument or not tracing back can help a willing mind." And that's what I do right here. Is you're willing? You're saying, mm-hmm. "I do not like how this feels." Mm-hmm. With Nancy, so there's a willing mind. Let go of what it thinks it knows. In other words. I've got students that I work with all the time, and the one thing to keep coming back to is you have to let go of you you, what you think you know yeah. you're seeing and, and you're perceiving. But, but, but what I think I know, what, if I understand what you're saying, what I think I know is not this thing out of being control, out of control. That's a fact. I thought what I think I know is that Nancy's behaving in an undesirable fashion. Isn't that what I think I know? Well, whenever you say, that's a fact. But that's a fact. I'm out of control. Okay, but you think you know that it's a fact that you're out of control. You think that's not open to question. And well, you think that is absolutely indisputable. You are out of control. It is indisputable. But are you willing to question it? No, I'm not. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm lost. I, I've lost your train. Yeah. Well, well, what that is what's causing me a problem is that I lose control. So what if it's just a perception mm-hmm. that you're out of control? Are you willing to entertain the possibility that it's merely a perception that you're out of control? And that it's not the fact. And it's not mm-hmm. the fact. And um, therefore, it could be looked at differently. Mm-hmm. I don't know where that would get me. I'm not trying to explain. Well, you don't myself. have to you don't have to know where it's gonna go. Mm-hmm. Just are you willing to look at that possibility? That's all that's I'll all the willingness that I don't understand. Yeah. Let's put it in a different context. As far as your spiritual beliefs, you know, whether you believe in, in oneness 
or Christ or spirit or whatever. There's a sense that there's something beyond this world that would be your true identity. We could say maybe Christ is not out of control. Or, you know, spirit as I am, as, as I was created by the source, is not out of control. But So that's the only context we're talking about. If, I, if it seems like I'm out of control in this world, then there, maybe there's some things and some beliefs in my mind that I need to question before I conclude that that's the fact of it, that, that I really am out of control. Instead of, you know, just being open to that there's something beyond my awareness or my understanding as I perceive myself now that maybe isn't out of control. See, I'm perceiving you to entertain the thought that my being out of control is not the problem. Where I perceive it as the problem Even that, you're out of control that we need to look at. Yeah. And anger is not a fact. Mm -hmm. It's a perception that's mm -hmm. out on the screen, screen. so to speak. But it's not that. Yeah, All right, and I would agree that the ego is what's causing me a problem here, and that's what allows me to appear yeah. out of control. So it's only the ego that could feel out of control. Who you are could not is out not of mm -hmm. out of control. Mm -hmm. Who you are is perfect and whole and complete. And mm -hmm. Okay, I divine. think we're semantically having a problem here because yeah. then I see what you're saying if that's what you're saying, but it's my ego self mm -hmm. right, that everybody else in the world has to deal with. And that's why we're saying there's no fact about that because mm -hmm. that's not who you are. Mm -hmm. that's but for right now you need to prove that you're right about how things are. <laughs> we want to. We that's want to. The say. ego wants to. Right. The ego does. The ego yeah. does. Right. <laughs> and you're <laughs> <laughs> This is very difficult. <laughs> so I'll just read the last sentence of two to take us to the three. I am willing to look beyond my perception of this upset, the meaning I am giving it, and look within my mind. So this is where the empowerment comes in, too, because, gee, if, it's, if the problem really is Nancy, or if the problem is a certain other situations that I'm dealing with, you know, at work or here or there, then mm, there's helplessness or powerlessness, because it doesn't seem like those persons and situations are changing. It seems like they're staying there day after day after day. But if, if it's a perceptual problem, and then the problem is in my mind, the reason I'm feeling upset, then that's good news yeah. in the sense that, oh, I can change my mind. That I have control over. Mm -hmm. I don't have control over Nancy's mind. I don't have control over what happens at work or whatever, but I do have control over my perception and the meaning I'm giving it. Right. So that's the, that's just the, that sentence is really just coming to that basis. <laughs>